I'm Christian Ligras. I'm data scientist and software engineer at Epsilon Data Science Company from Poland. Uh, I'm the author of Explainer Package that was a part of my master's thesis written in 2019 under supervision of Professor Przemysław Wiecek from University of Warsaw. Uh, I will talk how Explainer can be used to create explainable machinery models that can be used to make deliberate business decisions. So why explaining machine learning models? Throughout the history of ML, we've had multiple situations in which the application of machine learning resulted in unexpected and dangerous outcomes. One popular example is recruiting tool from Amazon in 2018 that was discriminatory against women in decision-making process. So we want to explain or build explainable models in order to avoid such situations, gain trust in our models, and make sure we know exactly how the model supports our decisions. In ML world, we may observe the following trend in terms of complexity, accuracy, and interpretability. Typically, the more complex model is, the more accurate it is, but also much harder to be interpreted. Uh, the goal of my master's thesis was to find out whether it's possible to extract some properties of complex machine learning models and try to use them to train the simpler ones. As a result of this idea, we worked out the following approach. Uh, we start with a black box model and extract its marginal uh, model responses. Uh, the model responses are usually irregular functions so that we approximate them with splines. And such splines are used to transform the original data variables to create the GLM model. So as a marginal model response, the most common one uh, are Friedman's partial dependence plots. I created a short video to show how PDPs are constructed. Uh, so I plotted here uh, uh, predictions of simple black box model trained on two variables x and z and predictions from training the set as a red dot. Uh, freezing all the variables except one and iterating over its range, we can see how the predictions behave for the selected observation and variable. As a result, we create so-called ICE curves, in this case for x variable. Then taking an average of all the IC curves, we create PDP function. Now a little bit math and motivation for such approach. Uh, when you create GLM model and use some functions to transform its variables, let's say GIs in this slide, the PDPs for resulting model are linear transformation of the corresponding GI function. As a result, the choice of a function that should be used to transform GLM variables is obvious. Our GI function should be PDP for corresponding variable of original model. This way we get an automatic way to generate variables transformations. More to that, the inherited property between black box model and created GLM and our PDP curves. And nevertheless, in our approach, we decided to approximate PDPs before we use them as transformation function. Uh, the reason for that was to make model more smooth. More to that, uh, we found out this gives good properties to final GLM model in terms of predictions accuracy. Uh, yeah, the, the approach I presented a second ago is implemented in explainer package. On its GitHub page, you may find many examples and articles how to use it. Uh, in the GitHub itself, uh, don't bother to ask me a question and complain if you miss any features. Uh, I'll respond for sure. And uh, for the final part, I want to present a simple credit scoring use case. Uh, how to use explainer model to make deliberate decisions whether a client should be granted credit or not. Uh, so let's start. Yeah, in the model tab, you can find basic model statistics and model decision threshold in terms of logs, uh, log odds and probability. Uh, based on the shape of GLM model, we can easily so see how each variable contributes to the final score. Uh, more to that, thanks to explainer approach, we can force the approximation to be monotonic, what can be required prepared from the final model, but couldn't be achieved by using many of the ML models. Yeah. In the client tab, we become creditor and start making the decision whether the person that asks for a credit should receive it or not. We simply fill a form with client-specific values such as monthly income or number of dependents. After two seconds, we receive the model prediction and for, unfortunately, we will not grant the credit in this case, uh, but we can easily see where the client was placed in the model and which variables prejudged that. Yeah, and uh, this is not all. We can prepare a detailed report to the client to inform how exactly the data related to the client contributed to the final score. So more than that, uh, the cl client can see if the local trend was uh, positive or negative. 
Yeah, and uh, we also present, uh, prepare and present most valuable recommendations how the client could improve the score. This is quite straightforward because we know the transformation functions. Yeah, and finally, finally, such report can be printed yeah, and sent to the client.